Thank you, moderator. Uh, having heard from all supporters, we will follow the same procedure for those wishing to testify in opposition to AB 371. Uh, the committee has Dave Snyder as identified witness in opposition. You may begin when you're ready. As a reminder, you have three minutes. Good afternoon, Chair Rubio and, and Senators. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dave Snyder. I'm with CalBike. <clears throat> for our mission of advocating for equitable communities, where people can enjoy the health and the prosperity and the joy of bicycling. Nothing is more important than safe sidewalks. Nobody should have to worry about getting hit by a bike or a scooter or tripping over one as they walk down the sidewalk. That's paramount. Uh, people also need convenient and affordable transportation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for most people, for most trips, a uh, public transit isn't fast enough, it isn't frequent enough, and it doesn't provide a door-to-door -door transportation. That's where shared bikes and scooters come in. To be clear, this isn't about those companies that are currently operating those systems. This is about the future of equitable transportation. A transit system with fast and frequent service on the main lines and shared bikes and scooters to take you to that last mile to your door that can compete for convenience with the automobile and it's much, much more affordable. It's essential for equity, for climate, for safety, that we expand these systems. This is the future of equitable transportation. It's not about the companies that are currently operating them. Responsible cities get all of this. They support their shared micromobility systems their permits require their scooter and bike share operators to have their users park their device to a meter and take a picture to show that they parked it properly before they can end their trip. They're beginning to require sidewalk detection, which is a new technology that is shown to work that will disable the device when it gets on the sidewalk. They're solving the problem the right way by preventing the problem in the first place. This bill will make expanding of shared bikes and scooters prohibitively expensive. We know this because about a half dozen cities and nonprofits applied for money and got money from the Air Resources Board's Clean Mobility Options Program to provide uh, shared micromobility systems for disadvantaged communities, and they can't get them started because they can't find insurance. An estimate of how much it will cost over three years of operation is $750,000. That's, that's three quarters of a million dollars for insurance and less than a quarter of a million dollars to provide service to disadvantaged communities. Um, that's not the way to, to have an equitable transportation system. Some of those uh, nonprofits and cities are operating just bikes. They're not operating uh, scooters, and they, they are frustrated that, that they're lumped in together because bikes are much safer. You can carry stuff with them. People are much less likely to ride them on the sidewalk, and they have health benefits. Uh, bikes have externalized benefits. Everything else has externalized costs. If this bill passes... We have 50 more seconds to wrap up your comments. Yeah. We fear that public transit will decline, bicycling and scooting will decline, our communities uh, will suffer as a result. With, with uh, respect for the author and with the important comment that we support the provision for braille and tactile devices, uh, we request respectfully that you reject this bill and let the Transportation Committee consider it because of its very severe impacts on equitable transportation. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.